gear again, recording for you lot. But um, happy Christmas. Hope you lot had a nice Christmas. And um, New Year's coming. Should be a big one for me. Hopefully, you hope, I'm um, hoping you have a nice New Year as well. Now let's get on right onto this, this topic, this debate about Arsenal. As you all know, it was a very, very poor game today. I don't know what to say about Arsenal that you lot don't already know. The defence, um, the shoddy defence, game after game after game. Um, personally, I don't know how to deal with it, personally. Um, well, we need, uh, we need a January window to come as soon as possible so we can go and buy new players for a start. Um, but um, it's just... I'm just sort of gobsmacked how how a Premier League team as such as Arsenal fighting to be in the Champions League can play football like that. You know, can can leave the defence gaping open so many times, match after match after match, game after game. There's not a game where we don't concede a goal. You know, we can score goals up front. Don't don't worry about our, our, our fourth players because yeah, we've got fourth players. They they they're banging them in. But when it comes to fucking defending, we're non-existent. I mean, all right, Holden's is injured, and then you got a few others that are in, few others that are, even those players that are injured, they're really up to standard. They're really not the, the caliber of defenders that I want at my team. You know, Kashan is redundant. Glasnach is like a brick, fucking. He's like a running brick. You know, he, he doesn't really. They does not use their brains. They don't. They don't use. You know, there's something we call in, in football as um, football intelligence. You know, as they say, game management, football intelligence. That's part of it. So that's part of the increment, incremental stuff of football management, where you know how to manage a game how to play a game, how, how to do with players. You don't give away silly fouls. You don't um, jump in the air when you know there's a player behind you um, fucking gonna get the ball that you had in the onto. Do you know what? You don't make, do silly mistakes for a professional fucking team. And I've seen it time after time at Arsenal. I've seen it over and over again. And I, I'm just wondering, how can we change this? We can't just um, keep... Um, Kicking, uh, kicking up Merzel and um, sorry, Mer Mer Ozil, because he ain't the only one f uh, making mistakes or not or not um, uh, performing. You know, you can go through the whole team, apart from a few, f like apart from like uh, Bamiyang and uh, and um, you know, I reckon he's the only one doing bits at Arsenal right now. The rest of them are just making mistakes after mistakes after mistakes. Now I don't know why that is. Whether well, it's the Christmas winter thing. But it can't be that, because we've passed that now. We've left Wenger, Wenger's era. This is a new Arsenal with character and ambition and drive. We've got all that in abundance. But yet, the defending is just ridiculous. You know, Bernard Leno's got to fix up, man. He's making too many errors, silly errors that I don't like. And then you've got like Lichtensteiner, He's another fucking world, mate. He's like a fucking... He makes mistakes, and he moans about his mistakes. He, 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 you know? I don't understand. But I, what I would say is, Una Emery, I love what you're doing so far at Arsenal, you know? You couldn't be... We couldn't have asked for a better manager you know, to, to sort of guide us through all the uh, Arsenal's remnants. I saw Arsene Wenger's remnants. So yeah, um, 22 games unbeaten, and then run came to a stop, which you know, which is not a bad, bad going. But even those, even those um, games we was playing, we were, we were conceding goals left, right, and centre. So I guess you know, we was just we were um, we were sort of like you know, cutting it fine on the margins basically. But my advice to um, Emery is, well not advice, but what I reckon should happen right now um, at, at the Arsenal 
we need to get um, two defenders. Not fucking Gary Cahill, for fuck's sake. We need two defenders and a winger, yeah? Because what I'm seeing now is when our, def when our players go injured, it seems we're thin. There's nothing, there's nothing to sort of back them up. But saying now that you got those fucking spuds who ain't bought no one. And they're going through the whole fucking season with just the fucking 11 players they've got. Now I find that remarkable, man. You know? But anyway, forget about those fucking wankers. I'm just finding it so fucking... astonishing how we can't defend against little teams. Even fucking Brighton defended well, well against um, Liverpool. You know? What is it with fucking we can't what is it with our team that we can't defend? Eh? What is it with, with, with that we can't defend? I need to know this these because these are questions I need to ask all Arsenal fans. Why is it? Eh? Why is it that we can't we can't defend? You're getting paid all that money, yeah? To have pride, have, have pride of the shirt you're wear, wearing. You should be saying to yourself, Liverpool, fuck them. Man City, fuck them. Tottenham, fuck them, man. We're going in there fucking guns blazing. But what do we do? We go in there all fucking scared and shit. That die in the all night Emery's way. I'm sure that's not the all, all night Emery's way, it, by far. Except our team, being weak as it is, we just concede goals left, right and centre. You know? This can't go on. Now roll on January, let's get some fucking defenders in there and let's hopefully get um, a winger, you know? Because I don't think um, uh, Iwobi can cut the mustard right now. I don't think he's... Um, I don't think he's a, he, 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 he can cut the must. He, he's a good player, you know. He's, he's when it's sunny, when it's when it's confident, yeah, he turns it on, you know. Like Ozil, when it's sunny, when everything's all nice, when it's confidence about, when you can feel the vibe, then they turn it on. But when it's raining, when it's a miserable day, they don't they, they don't turn it on because they feel like oh, I'm lazy, mate. It's those days that make you a world-class player.